we're going to introduce a new topic, and that is electrolysis. Like all the sciences, chemistry can be both fun and rewarding, especially when it involves practical experiments. But its complex vocabulary and requirement for precise sequencing can present challenges. It's got its own private language where we use normal words, but they mean something entirely different. Um, we have um, a, a code, so we have symbols instead of words. So you've had to learn a word, then you've got to learn a symbol to represent that word, and you've got to build these into more and more complex structures. And that places um, a really, really high burden, plus the normal everyday, you know, describe, explain, state, um, all of that type of command uh, structure that they need to recognise as well and then to access the, the, the chemistry language and then the chemistry code um, and also numbers. So we then have superscript and subscripts um, as well. Number one. So what's it telling me to do, Alistair? Can you read out number one instruction? Number one. In box one, place approximately 10 drops of copper. Sequencing is very important. In terms of a chemistry is a practical subject, and you need to have some knowledge, gain that knowledge, and you need to be able to use that um, and sequence through a practical as we were doing today and relating it to the knowledge that you have gained or previous knowledge you're having to retrieve. OK, switch on again. What could you smell there? Polychlorine. Probably chlorine, because what smells swimming like that, that with swimming pools? Over many years, I think I've begun to really examine how I think the student feels. So really putting myself actually into their shoes and not really trying to remove myself from being the teacher and disseminating knowledge and skills. So I'm uh, very much try and keep the classroom um, uh, very focused on the actual learning, the key learning of that lesson. So they don't spend their time occupied by extraneous information. Come and get this, two electrodes, a lid, you don't need any of the bottled reagents, they're here already. To assist that focus on the content of the lesson, equipment and chemicals for this Year 11 experiment are pre-prepared well in advance. It's not something the pupils have to worry about. You'll find that once you ask them to get equipment that um, two, three boys working together would go and get the exact same piece of equipment, arrive back at their bench with three of the same um, a piece of equipment. Um, and this is down to the, the sequencing, taking in of those instructions, processing that instruction. Um, they become very uh, focused on, on uh, naming it and I'm going to get it. So it is trying to support them so that they don't spend a lot of their energy doing something that is just background. And a pre-prepared worksheet with numbered instructions and a map for the equipment enables students to get straight to the chemistry without being distracted by setting up the experiment. I have created a worksheet where all of the equipment and its actual physical layout is on the page and they put their equipment on top of the image. The instructions at what to do are also on the same page. And that has been numbered and the reagents are right beside them. So they don't have to go to the side of the room to get reagents. They don't have to place complex um, equipment together. The chemistry is happening straight away and their development of their knowledge and skills is happening straight away. Orange brown, good. I think that a lot of children are very frightened by chemistry, you know, the, the symbols and, and symbol equations and balancing equations and the mathematical aspect of it. But actually, I think it's a subject that dyslexic students can really excel at. Um, it's about building their confidence and allowing them the, the understanding of that chemistry and other science subjects are where success comes out of abject failure. So to recap Antoinette's key points for teaching chemistry, Keep the class focused on the one key piece of learning for the lesson. Prepare equipment and chemicals for students beforehand. Create worksheets with instructions and diagrams for each experiment.